What's happening guys? Coming at you from some random location in Mississippi. Looking at this beautiful sunset going down in the Mississippi Delta. Headed back to Las Vegas. Went home to visit my parents. But anyway, the reason for this video is to answer the question, why are my subs stinking? Why do I smell my subs? This is a great question. So I wanted to answer it for y'all and shed some light on it because it seems it's getting asked a lot here lately. So why are your subwoofers smelling? Why are they stinking? All these questions. So the reason why is because you are heating them up from either one, overpowering them with possibly a lot of overpowering with clean power when I say clean, I mean unclipped, not distorted power. Two, you're clipping the ever-living poop out of them. Clipping, distorting, that type of stuff. If you don't know what clipping and distorting is, this is probably your problem. Three, um, you're probably clipping or distorting them. Yeah. I know, it's hard to believe, right? I can't get over this sunset, it's beautiful. But um, anyway, this gets asked a lot. And when I ask these people, and some of them will say, oh, I had a professional shop. Let me get y'all this sunset back there. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, I'll ask them, like, did you install it or somebody? Oh, I had a professional shop installed. They've been doing it for 20 years. Like, oh, cool. Uh, did they set it with a oscilloscope or a DD1 distortion detector? So they'll either say no or what is that? So I'll tell them what it is. An oscilloscope measures the wavelength coming out of an amplifier. If it is clean, it'll be a nice rolling wave like this. But if not, if it's a distorted or a clipped, signal it'll be jagged edges it'll be straight up straight over straight down that lets you know that you're clipping or distorting and this causes your subwoofer to heat up very rapidly and you start smelling it when you start smelling your subwoofer this is telling you you are entering the danger zone it's letting you know if you keep doing me like this, I'm going to turn into a slinky. What is a slinky, you might ask? Well, your voice coil, which is inside of your subwoofer, is going up and down really fast, like this. Yeah, like that. If you heat this up, once you start heating this up from sending either way too much power through it, say you have like a a subwoofer rated at a thousand watts RMS, people will say, oh, I can send, I can play it on 2000 watts clean. Well, yeah, you probably can clean. But the problem is when this information gets to somebody that doesn't really know anything about car audio and they're like, oh, it'll take a 2000 watt amp. And they go out and get like a audio bond 2000 or a PAL pyramid 2000, whatever. This amp does like, 500 watts RMS, 2000 watts, probably never, but it would be clipped to death, distorted, like never, just pure garbage power. <clears throat> so this turns into the uneducated person blowing their subwoofer because they see somebody that may be a little bit educated playing theirs on 2000 watts and not having any problems. They play it all day, every day, this this great. So, they go run it back to me or the person that told them it would take 2,000 watts. Like, man, I put 2,000 watts on mine and it blew the smithereens in five minutes. Why? Because you are sending garbage power to it, clip distorted garbage power to it. So, some ways of remedying, remedying this is, one, if you ever Write this down for me, okay? Write this down. If you ever start smelling your speakers, 
and you don't want to blow them hey if you want to blow them up that's great blowing a voice coil is not i repeat is not covered under manufacturer warranty under a manufacturer defect blowing a voice coil is not a manufacturer defect blowing a voice coil is from neglect abuse or combination of a few of those so if you ever start smelling your subwoofer it's, it's giving you a little hint it's like hey i'm about to let go man it's like you're hanging on to the edge of a cliff and your fingers are slipping so just turn it down let your subwoofers cool off before you turn them into a slinky okay let them cool off so say you go to say you don't have a dd1 or a um or an oscilloscope to set up your gains properly so you're not clipping this is another way of kind of and this is a, let me go over this real quick shops that are like i've been doing this for 20 years i can hear distortion i can set this up with my ear <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> maybe like one or two percent of the people that actually say that can actually do that when you start hearing distortion it's so far past the point of where it needs to be it's it's embarrassing if you ever actually hear distortion it's really bad like if you where you hear distortion at like say that's a hundred percent or a full tank of gas where it's probably actually starting to distort it's probably at like a quarter tank so you have pushed it so far past where it needs to be it's, it's real bad so if the shop's telling you i've been doing this forever i can hear this i can do this but you're and you're having these issues mm -mm. Be like, man, you need to go invest in a little $150 tool from downforsoundshop.com called a DD1 distortion detector. And this will get you a really good set point. Or if you really want to do it, it'll get you a oscilloscope. It'll be a little bit more expensive usually, but um, start having your gain set with that and it'll be proper, right? So anyway. I wanted to bring y'all this video because I get asked this a lot. Why is my subwoofer stinking? Why am I smelling them? So what what what's the smell that you're smelling? The smell is depending on the subwoofer, usually the smell that you're smelling is you're heating up you're heating up the subwoofer, the voice coil so much it is starting to melt the glue around the voice coil so that tells you how hot you're getting that usually it's over 300 and meh, 300 and something degrees it depends on the the uh, subwoofer different ones heat up different i mean different ones start stinking at different temperatures but and what i've seen it's usually around three hundred and something degrees so that lets you know that you're really uh, doing something wrong and depending on the subwoofer I'm gonna try to cut this off in 10 minutes but depending on the subwoofer they can take let's say for instance sundown let's say you take a sundown x15 one of the most popular subs that they offer that I sell on downforsoundshop.com and they're rated at 1500 watts RMS, right? I, I could personally take a Sundown SAE 3000 watt amp, set it up, and I could play that subwoofer for, I would imagine for 24 hours straight, clean power, never have an issue. It might get a little bit warm, but it would never have an issue. So, you could also take that same exact subwoofer and have somebody that don't know what they're doing put a thousand watt amp on it and blow it 
in five minutes. Properly installing your equipment or having someone properly install your equipment is so important. I can't stress that enough. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. I wanted to bring that to your attention. This is my two cents from somebody who's been in the car audio game for a little while. But check this out. This is pretty cool. Totally random too. Look at this car is driving itself. This is a new. This is a new uh, 2019 Nissan Altima. Let's see if it turns off right here. Pretty cool, right? Totally random. It'll do this for a while and then it'll like start doing it faster and faster and then it'll push the brake to kind of wake you up. But if you like do the wheel like that, it'll let them know that you're back steering it again. But this has been a cool little sunset video talking about none other than car audio. I love car audio. If you like this video, if you'd like for me to discuss another topic, all you have to do is post in the comments below and I'll try to cover it in another video. Appreciate appreciate y'all so much and your support at downforsoundshop.com. Don't forget, we're home with a down for sound difference. Guaranteed lowest prices from an authorized dealer. If you find anything that we offer for cheaper, we'll beat it for you. Fastest shipping. Everybody knows we don't play around about shipping stuff. We do everything we can to minimize the time from when you place your order to when you get your order from us. And also, customer service. We try to take care of our customers like we would like to be taken care of. So, we try to do our best. Alright, y'all. We'll see you on the next video. Super excited about getting Neo Ho back. Probably in a week or two, I'm going to be able to go and demo it, play it, see it for the first time. So, be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, hit that thumbs up button for me. We out. Oh, we beautiful sunset, right? Holla.